Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Many people have requested a tutorial on video editing, so this week, here comes your wish. This tutorial is inspired by Sam Colder, who is the greatest guy I have ever seen in video editing. Anyway, today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects, and create a new composition. Let's call it Smooth Zoom Transition. As always, I am using the 1920x1080 resolution. At 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. Perfect. Let's import our videos. I am going to use these three video clips, which you can download from the link in the description and then place it on your timeline. Now we have to trim out our clips, so we can apply our transition. Please note, you are free to choose the clip duration, as per your need. I am just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. I am going to select this frame, and then press, Ctrl, Shift, D, to split your layer. I am going to use the 3 second clip, from each video. Now select the top layer and delete it. Do the same with the bottom layer as well. Now we have left with the 3 second clip, which I am going to use for this tutorial. Let's do the same with all other layers as well. In case, you don't like any frame, you can adjust the starting position of it. In this case, I am going to start from this eye blinking position. Cool. Trim out the clip, and delete the rest. You are free to choose any clip you want. Do the same with all clips. And now you have this sequence. Ram preview this, and see if you are happy with it. This looks good to me. Now select all your layers, go to the effects and presets, and search for the motion tile effect. This effect will create the mirror image of your clip to the given dimension. Double click on it, to apply it to all selected layers. Change output width to 1000, and output height to 1000 as well. Also, make sure to check this mirror edges, so it will rotate them in mirror position. Now create a new adjustment layer, and let's call it transition. Go to the position, where you want to start the transition, and then apply a transform effect on it. Here are few settings which you can try by yourself. You can use the scale, or rotation, as well as, you can use the position for the transition. For this tutorial, I am going to stick with the scale, and adding a keyframe on it. Now go to the few frames forward, where you want to finish your transition. Here change the scale value to 300. If you play this, you can see a zoom in effect is applied to it. But my second clip is also zoomed in very high. Make sure you are at the few frames forward from the transition end. Select your second layer, and press S to open scale. Scale down your clip, until you see the frame is fitting perfectly. Cool. This is perfect. Check your animation, and see, 
If it looks good to you. Cool. Let's apply motion blur to it. If you don't see your switch tab here, press F4 to switch between. In case your F4 key is broken, right click here, go to the columns, and select switches. Turn on the motion blur for this transition layer only, and make sure to activate it by clicking on this icon. Cool. Let's make our transition more attractive. Select the transition layer, and press U to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. You can use the F9 key for the shortcut. Open graph editor, and change this curve. If your graph doesn't look like this, right click on it, and select, edit speed graph. Cool. Now change the curve position to something like this. So that our animation will start and end slowly. Switch back to the timeline, and RAM preview this. This looks good to me. You are free to adjust the timing of the keyframes, according to your need. You can make it slower, or faster. Let's do the same with the second clip. Go to the transition starting position, and add a scale keyframe on it from here. Go to the few frames forward, and change the scale value to 100%. I am using a zoom in effect for the first clip. And zoom out effect for the second clip. You are free to choose your own style. Select the scale keyframes, open graph editor, and change the graph curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and your transition is complete. Ram preview this, and use in your projects. I will see next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, happy teachers day.